using. Are you recording? Yep. Right. I'm going to be using a 16 gauge wire here because I used up all my 14 gauge. Um, it's recommended that you use um, 14 or 12 when you're doing a power supply for your house. Okay. So that was recommended by the Cash Foundation. I don't know any different at this point. Um, so, you know, go ahead and stick with the standard of 14 gauge if you can. But I'm going to use this wire to show you how to do this. Uh, first thing is going to be a Trinity wire. Okay. I'm going to show you a real easy way to do it. You're going to hold the wire in the hand like this. Okay. Leave yourself a little tail. Mm -hmm. Hold it out, and however long you want it, okay, you use the spool. In my case, I want it this long, so I'm going to bend it there. I take this back up, through my tail, bend it again, okay, and come out this way. I always put my spool on my left side. I'm right-handed, so I gotta switch sides. But plasma always starts on the left and moves to the right. So that's where I keep my spool is on my left side because that's my source of energy, my source of wire right now. Okay. So when that happens. Cut it a little bit longer. And, oh, I bend this end over. This is my source end. In case I get interrupted, this is my mark. Okay. This tells me that's my source. That's what needs to be in my left hand. Okay. Bend this over. Stick it in the end of the drill. Move this extra one out of the way. I hold this end here, and my drill is going to the right. Okay, mm -hmm. it's going clockwise. simple. Move it out of the way. Okay, now you have a trinity wire. Okay. Now you can do whatever you want with it. In this case, let's start with a spiral. Okay. Let's make it nice. I use my hands, and my phone is just spacing. Okay. Does it matter how many times we go around? You picked the length for a reason. You don't have to know that reason. Okay. I didn't measure this, I just made it. You saw it? Okay. So I'm just going to continue going around until I run out of wire. Mm -hmm. So, when that happens, then I figure out what I've got. Okay. In this case, this is the source side, right? So, the energy is going to go in, and it's going to collect all of the energy. Oh, you booty hole! Hi! I have to excuse me, my family's here for Thanksgiving. And uh, I can't tell them to be absolutely quiet. So now I've got this. 
All right, this is a, an induction coil, but this is the way the energy would flow if you're looking at it. So this one would have a turn to the right. Okay, but since source is over here, the energy is going to come in here and travel this direction. All right. And when you look at it, it's traveling counterclockwise. Okay, you don't have to look at it up close. Okay, you follow the wire around, and it travels in a counterclockwise direction. Okay, so now the coil is magnetical. Okay, that makes the insides, the open spaces, gravitational or magnetical, which means it's going to repel, it's going to push away. Okay? Mm. So it's going to attract the energy to the coil and express it where it meets two wires in between. It's going to make a field there and it's going to push that field out. This is a spiral galaxy kind of setup. Right. You take this and you add it in line. Okay, since this is source, you can add this in line with any of your power devices. Okay, put it on your positive wire, the red wire, the plus sign. Okay, this side would go to the plug. Right, so if you're going to plug it, it would be plugging it into the wall. That's the way it would work. All right. That's the way the wire needs to connect to it this way. Okay? And then you just connect the other end to this side and continue the flow pattern that you started here and make sure you continue it on this side because it's already reversed by the time it gets here. Okay? So you want to continue that wire and then seal it up. And now you got yourself a beautiful Trinity wire energy device for your vehicle. Okay? You can make them bigger for your homes. Make them for any of the electronic devices. So, just keep that in mind.